Welcome back, James the Blur here again. Today we're gonna be talking about all of the Assassin's Creed Shadow information that is currently out. Also, don't at me in the comments because these names are crazy as hell to say. And yes, it is a band-aid on my face. All right, let's go. On November 15th, Assassin's Creed Shadows will be released, marking a new chapter in the beloved series. Developed by the team Assassin's Creed Odyssey, this open world RPG will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. As the first current gen only title in the franchise, Shadows promises to enhance the series core elements while introducing a unique twist and in a highly anticipated setting. Japan in 1579 during the late Sengoku period. This era is characterized by intense conflict among various clans and the arrival of foreigners by ship. At the heart of this turbulent period is Oda Nobunaka, a powerful figure determined to unify Japan. His campaign, however, is marked by significant bloodshed, which is vividly depicted at the beginning of the game's cinematic trailer when Nobunaga's troops burn down and destroy the Iga province. One of the standout features of Assassin's Creed Shadows is its dual protagonist, which is a departure from previous games that typically allow players to choose between a male or female character. In Shadows, players will control two main characters, each offering distinct gameplay experiences. Nawe is a shinobi from the mountains of the Iga province, is driven by a desire for revenge against Nobunaga's forces who destroyed her home. Trained by her father, Nawe's combat style includes the use of a hidden blade and a tanto, allowing for dual wielding combat. Her arsenal also includes throwing knives, smoke bombs, and a kurisigama, making her a versatile and deadly fighter. Nawe's agility is further enhanced by a grappling hook, which allows her to navigate the game world quickly and access different paths. Nai's combat style is a blend of traditional shinobi techniques and innovative weaponry. Her hidden blade, which can be extended into a full-size blade, is a versatile tool in her arsenal. This blade can be used in combination with her tanto, offering a dual-wield combat option that fans of the series will appreciate. Additionally, Nai's use of the throwing knives and smoke bombs brings back the double assassination mechanic, allowing for strategic takedowns of multiple enemies. All right, if you're still here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can stay up to date on the latest Assassin's Creed information or anything else we got going on on the channel. All right, back to the video. On the other hand, Yasuke, the second protagonist, is inspired by a real historical figure. Yasuke was taken by the Portuguese as a child slave and trained as a warrior. His skills and quick adaptation to Japanese culture impressed Oda Nobunaga, who made him a samurai in his service. A retainer, Yasuke's combat style is centered around heavy weapons such as the Kanabo, a large club capable of breaking enemies' weapons. This brute strength is complemented by a katana and a smaller blade called the Wakisaji, offering versatile combat options. Yasuke's heavy weaponry and powerful attacks are reminiscent of those seen in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which make him a formidable opponent on the battlefield. Assassin's Creed Shadow introduces several new gameplay mechanics that enhance the player experience. Destructible environments play a significant role, adding a layer of immersion and tactical options. Both protagonists can destroy various objects in the game world with Nawe able to assassinate enemies through Soji doors, a feature which we loved and found in Ghost of Tsushima. This destructibility is integrated into the exploration system, which has been redefined with a spy mechanism. Players can choose to kill or spare camp commanders, impacting the game world dynamically. Killing commanders will yield you loot, while sparing them turns them into spies who provide you intelligence on new missions. The game's graphics have seen significant improvements, particularly in character models and the overall Japanese aesthetic. While the visuals may not be groundbreaking, they are impressive with sharp character details and beautiful landscapes. Customization is a major aspect of Assassin's Creed Shadows, allowing players to fully design their hideouts. This new evolution of the settlement system lets players choose building locations and designs, adding depth and a personal touch to the game. The ability to change the look of roofs and layouts provides players with a unique opportunity to create a settlement that reflects their personal preferences and play styles. This feature enhances the player's connection to the game world and adds an additional layer of immersion. The fact we have dual protagonists does add a considerable amount of replay to the game. Players can choose to play as Nawe with her focus on stealth and agility, or Yasuke who excels in brute force combat. This choice impacts the gameplay experience, encouraging multiple playthroughs to fully explore each character's unique abilities and storylines. The game's narrative is designed to intertwine the backgrounds and stories of both characters, creating a rich and engaging experience. 
Nawe's quest for revenge against Nobunaga's forces contrasts with Yasuke's journey from slave to samurai, highlighting the diverse experience and motivation of the two characters. This dynamic creates a compelling narrative that keeps players engaged throughout the game. Ubisoft has hinted at additional content post-launch, including a potentially new game plus mode, which would further enhance the replayability of the game. Huh? All right, there it is. Assassin's Creed Shadows dropping November 15th with customizable environments, dual protagonists, and a dynamic world. That's all the information I can find out for you. So if I miss something, definitely let me know in the comments and don't take my word for it because I'm just a random dude on the internet. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.